Alright guys, even here in this video I'm gonna do a little recap on this Arnold Classic South America or Brazil. It is Arnold Classic South America but it happened in Brazil so many people call it just Arnold Brazil. So at the end of the evening you had these two bodybuilders battling it out for the first place. You had Juan Morel and of course Rafael Brandel. I will not go pose for pose and analyze every single pose comparing them because you already seen a couple of videos from other YouTube channels and I've been stuck with my Q&A video yesterday, I did it for a whole day pretty much. And I watched all those other videos that other YouTube channels created and I have my impressions about this show. So basically the only reason that many people thought that Rafael could win it is simply because he had legs. I'm not saying that Juan had worse legs than Rafael, I'm saying that he had no legs, actually. From the side they looked great, from the back they looked fine, but from the front it was just silly. But overall muscularity of Juan Morel was just enough to prevail. You can see what I'm talking about very clearly when they turn around and when they show their backs. You can see the depth that the density of Juan's back is just overwhelming. Even though Brandao was in great shape, Juan Morel was in much better conditioning and you can especially see that from behind in his glutes. And Juan did a vacuum pose and that looked great, I think it helped him quite a bit. But his legs from this side look just funny, I mean amateur-like. If you compare these two guys in the quad department you can see that it's just not even com comparable, I mean Juan is way way behind. And me personally, maybe I would even give it to Rafael, simply because he was more complete. I mean, he was complete. Raf uh, Juan is not complete. His legs are just the worst legs in the IBB. But on the other hand, I knew how the judging works, so I was expecting this to be Juan's victory. And you can see that, especially from this side, from the side poses, basically. His legs look great from the side, and you can see better striations in his glutes, way better striations in his glutes. And also, I mean, this, this drop of his hamstrings is also looking great. From the back, you can notice that Rafael's legs are looking much bigger, much more massive, but his glutes are not as peeled. I'm not saying that Rafael wasn't conditioned, he absolutely was, but his glutes were not as dry as those of Juan, because Juan's glutes are looking paper thin skin, it is just crazy. He is actually one of the guys who have the best conditioning. And you can notice the difference in their muscularity when they do this transition of the back lat spread. Wow, look at Juan, <laughs> and look at Rafael, I mean it's not even funny. I don't know, I mean, why I don't know why he's doing it next to him, because Juan is known for this pose, and this is just showing a lot of, a lot of density and thickness in his back. Although he trains his back with a horrible, horrible form, and I have no idea how he will help it this much, but I guess he probably knows something I don't. Or he just has great genetics. Anyways, he definitely brought an amazing shape as far as back, and as far as conditioning, pretty much every single body part, except legs. I'm not saying that Rafael was far, far behind in terms of muscularity and overall density of the physique, but he wasn't tight on that level, and you cannot win the competition based on one single body part. But Rafael's legs were much, much bigger than Juan's, I mean look at this here, look at this, this is just dwarfing him, that's a huge body part, that's a big puzzle group. Maybe it should have been enough for Juan to lose, but apparently it wasn't, and look at this pose here, I mean... Despite the humongous quads of Rafael, Juan still manages to look better in this pose because of his abs, which are so deeply separated, it's crazy. And this fist bump fail was pretty funny. <laughs> but let's see how they look in most muscular. And first thing that you can notice is legs, I mean, Rafael is killing him, but if you look at the upper body, it's not even funny. I mean, Rafael is definitely being destroyed by Juan. Juan is an older guy, so he packs a lot more muscle and more muscle maturity as well. And look at this part now, when he does the crab pose. Damn, look at the veins and the separations and the grand little look that he has. Definitely enough to win the show, but it is still arguable. I'm not sure who deserved to win it. Because of the legs, I may even give it to Rafael, but it was very close, you must agree with that. But let's take a look at this part again. <laughs> I mean, this was hilarious. Nobody paid attention to this. <laughs> what the hell did they try to do here? I have no idea. By the way, Akim Williams took third place. He was a little bit out of shape, but I didn't expect much from him, honestly. His physique is kind of blocky. I don't like the shape of his legs, the, the shape of his back, and I'm not really amazed with his physique. But sure, I mean, he's a great bodybuilder as well. But I have another interesting thing for you guys, and take a look at this real quick. Nice. 
vacuum. Look at that vacuum, Arnold says, but where is the vacuum there? I mean, Raphael's physique is one of the, probably the most aesthetic physique in the IBB Pro ranks today, but there was no vacuum on the stage. The only guy that did vacuum here was uh, the winner, Juan Morel, but there was no vacuum on Raphael Brandao. But Arnold cannot troll him for having the stand and stomach because he definitely does not have that, although he did not do vacuum, not at all. He did do a mild variation of a vacuum pose, but when he was doing abs and thighs, not in front double bicep. In my opinion, I don't think it's necessary because he has a beautiful midsection, beautiful overall flow of the physique, but Arnold was definitely trolling him about this. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about this and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and all the best guys, bye bye.